So you know how when you plug in a value for a variable. So if you had 3x and then x was equal to 2, you could take 2 and plug it in for x. So then you would have 3 times 2, and that would equal 6. Well, function notation is just a fancy way of saying plug in 2 for x. Function notation is written like this. So the same problem could be written as f of x equals 3x. The way we say this right here is f of x. So if I wanted to ask you for any value where I wanted to ask you what x would be, I could write the notation and say f of, and whatever number I would have said here, like x equals 2, I can just write it in here, f of 2. And I can ask that question. So you would refer back to this function. So f of x is a function. That's why it's called function notation. So f of 2 would be the same thing as saying 3 times 2, just like we did before, and that would be equal to 6. So that's your function notation. Now, sometimes we could do this on a graph as well, because f of x is really just like another fancy way of saying y, y equals. So if I were making a table of values, like we've done so many times, I could say f of x, let's do it this way, x and then f of x. So here I would say that x is 2 and f of x is equal to 6. If I wanted to find another value, say I wanted to find f of 4. Well, that would be 3 times 4, which would be equal to 12. So when x is 4, f of x is equal to 12. So those are all ordered pairs on a graph. So if we were graphing this, we might go over to up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that would be our 0.26, or over 4, and then way up here somewhere, I don't know, and say that this was 4, 12, okay? So we can do function notation with tables, we can do it with algebra, and we can also do it with graphs. So we can look at a graph and ask for f of a number, and then you go to the x value on the graph, and find where it is on that graph. So let me show you. So now I'm looking at the graph. Now this is the graph of f of x equals 3x. So just like before, if I wanted to say, well, what is f of 2? Well, 2 is the x value. So I would go to the x-axis, here's 2 on the x-axis, and I would go all the way up, and 6 is the value on this graph when f is 2. So f of 2 is equal to 6. If I wanted to find the value of f of negative 1, then I would go over here to my x-axis, I would go over to, this is where negative 1 is, and I would go down on my graph to this point, and it looks like that is negative 3. So I can look at my graph, and I can find function values, or I can look at, I could also look at the table, x, f of x, and now we have another value to add. So from the last table, we had... 2 and 6, we had 4 and 12, and now we have negative 1 and negative 3. We can add those values. Those are all the same thing. So I can find it algebraically. f of 2 equals 3 times 2 equals 6. I can find it graphically by looking at the graph and I can find it by looking at the table of values. So no matter what, I can find my value of my function. Now I can also go backwards. I could say if f of x is equal to negative 6, what is x? 
So for example, if f of x equals negative 6, what is the x value that I plugged in here? This time, instead, I'm going to look at the y values. So here's y is negative 6, and here is my value for x when y is negative 6. So that would say then f of 2 equals negative 6, and I could add that value over here. So 2, negative 2, sorry about that, y'all, negative 2, and negative 6. So you've got three different relationships going on here. We have 1, algebra, f of x equals 3x, f of 2 equals 3 times 2 equals 6. We have our table of values, x, f of x. So x is 2, f of x is 6. And often those are actually written the other direction. So f of x is over here and x is here. I don't know why, but we know this is like our y value. So we know the 6 would go here and the 2 would go here. And then the last way we could have that graph. So if I grab my graph, I'll shrink that guy down. The last thing we could do is we could have our graph. And I could find f of 2 by looking at the 2 on my graph and finding the ordered pair that goes. So that's 2, 6. So that would be 6. Or I could go the opposite way and I could say, well, if f of x is 6, what is x? So then I would go over here and look at the y value, go to that same point. I would know the 6 and I would be plugging in x equals 2. Hope that helps, guys. Have a good day. Miss you.